Hello, I'm going to show you how to remove the high level brake light on the Peugeot 108, the Citroen C1 and the Toyota Igo. As you can see the seal's not very good around the edge so water can get inside your boot and also if you don't remove it correctly you can crack it as you can see someone's tried to do this before. So you just need to open the boot and in the middle of the boot there's an access panel, just pop this off and once you remove that, put your finger inside, there's two clips at the top, left and right. There's actually four clips to hold the light in, but you only need to remove the, the top two, and that'll give you enough access to, to leave it out. So once you push those two brackets in, top, left and right, you can see it's sticking out the edge here. Just open the bit and back into the access panel and push the light through from the back. And as you can see that's it out now. So there's a clip here and here and a clip here and here. This has been removed previously but the, the hose has been removed and you can unplug the light and assembly from here. And now that the light's removed, you might, if you've noticed a build-up of water along this inner edge, it'll eventually run inside your boot. So what I would suggest is just tucking this away and then driving the car with this open and eventually the water will drain out onto the window. Just ensure that the rear brake lights are working before removing the high-level brake light, just so you're safe on the road. Once you've dried this boot cavity out and mask it up, badly in this case, mask it up and then I would just run a bead of silicon all the way around. And you could have done it on the rear but the problem is that you'd have a difficult time removing it. So at least if you run a bead along here you can cut away at it next time you need access to change the bulbs. That's the silicone now complete. Just make sure that you check the brake light before you do silicone it in. And I hope that's been of some help to you.